We're already in our third and the last topic of the repetition control structure in PHP. So we need to discuss about the for statement or the for loop. So for statement, basically, this is used for repeating a statement of series um, or a series of a statement as long as a given condition of expression evaluates to true. Of course, this is the reason why um, the repetition control structure exists because um, if the condition of expression evaluates to true, it will do something. But if it um, if the result will become false, um, it will um, it will go out to the curly braces, right? Proceed. So if a conditional expression within the four um, statement evaluates to true, the for statement executes and continues to execute repeatedly until the conditional expression evaluates to false. This is what I explained earlier. Okay, and also um, the for loop can also in, um, include code that initializes a counter and changes its value with each iteration. Okay. So I'll, let me show you right now the syntax for the for loop. So first, uh, we have, of course, we have, we have the for, then the counter declaration. So basically, if we will compare this one to while and do while, this is actually our int a equals to zero. For example, if the counter, um, if the result will start with zero, the counter will be zero. So here, this is the, uh, this is the place where uh, we will initialize or declare our counter, okay? Don't forget to put the semicolon. After that one is the condition. After the condition, it should be the update statement. For the update statement, normally um, we are using plus plus or increment or decrement, okay? And of course, the statements or the expressions inside. If we will go back to the flowchart, or if we will check the flowchart, First, we need to initialize. Oh, so for this one, it should be something like this because this is, in, no, sorry. Uh, this is initialization, right? So it should be something like that. Okay, next, after initialization, the condition. So initialization first, then the condition. When the condition is true, that's the time that it will execute the statement. And after that, that's the time that it will increment. For incrementing, this is the fourth and the last thing that, um, this is the fourth and the last process where the for loop will execute. So once, um, if ever that the result will become false, that's the time that it will terminate the program, right? Again, this is one, two, three, four. If it's true, if it's false, it will go directly and terminate the program. So let me go ahead and check with you or let me share with you um, the example for this one. So by checking the um, by checking the result at the end of the um, of the loop A, it's actually 50 and B it's 25. So let me check the code. So it should be PHP here course you need to close that one also with PHP I'm oh, sorry let me, let me remove that one okay so the first thing that we need to do here we need to initialize the A and the B the A and the B it's different from the initialization or our counter here okay the counter here, this is the start or uh, this is the start of the loop. Okay. And also here this is um, i, which is zero, it's less than five. So based on this one, um, it depends on how uh, no sorry, it will um, it will print or it will um, loop five times. Okay. So of course this is true so this is actually similar to um, a equals 
a plus sorry plus 10 okay also this one this is b equals b plus 5 so it should be um, repeatedly by 5 so the result here will become 50 and the result here will become 25 okay are we all good okay so right now let me show you uh, let me show you our activity number six one moment so our activity number six um, if you can see here um, this norm uh, this is actually your multiplication table but it's not the entire multiplication table but uh, we are only putting the number 10 from 0 to 9 so how to start with this one of course based on that one we need to create our uh, I believe we need to let the user input what number he or she wanted to multiply and for how many times okay so let me go back to the visual studio code and here um, I'll be creating activity 6 for activity 6 wait for a while just need to copy this one activity 6 so for this one um, I'll be putting for example uh, how oh, wait. enter a value wait. Of, uh, enter a value okay there this should be number six next okay this one let's see how many times how many times do you want uh, for how many times like that one and I'll be changing this one to num a then this is num b okay so for this one this is button number six okay so let's go ahead and proceed here so if Sorry. So if a set, if the user um, clicked this button or the button, um, wait, um, button, this is button six. Okay, button six. It will go inside. So is empty it will check first the first this is num sorry num 6a sorry and sorry this should be end if sorry um, not empty course post num 6p so why did I use 2 here why did I use and because again um, there should um, the num 6a and num 6b should contain a value if one of those doesn't contain anything the user needs to put or the user needs to go back and re-enter it okay then else here all I need to do is just to copy this one okay go back here of course this is the start of our coding so this part we will go ahead and um, create a value number six 
that will get the value of our num 6a next value 7 oh, let, let me do something like this 6p of course it will get the value of our num sorry num 6p okay there you go so let me start creating my for loop so so for this one of course I need to use sorry I need to use for then I will initialize variable i equals of course it should start with zero based on the output there it should start with zero there that's our counter next um i should be less than or equal to uh, what's the for how many times it's num 6p it should be this one so then i plus plus okay next well, let me do the echo now in the echo part the product of let me see okay the product of um value uh 6a of course 6a multiply it by let me see okay multiply it by um it should be i is I will multiply here the wait for a while this should be the value um, 6a multiply it by the i okay lastly I need to put the dr okay semicolon hopefully this will work again okay the reason why I put this one because again we are comparing the value of our um, 6a um, I'm sorry 6b so it depends on how many times that the user wanted to um, to let our program execute okay that's why I put 6b here okay let me try if this will work right now let me refresh it so okay i did not put something for example 12 only okay good job because i use and a moment yes good job okay let me start so it should be 10 here and it should be nine no sorry yeah it should be up until nine yeah there so click submit so it's working so product 10 uh, the product of 10 times 0 of course it's 0 10 times 1 it's 10 going to 90 but I think I forgot to put the this one <laughs> sorry for this one I forgot okay here we go there let me go back there you go okay so let's proceed with our okay here we go so this is so easy because i know that uh, we've done a lot of things like this the asterisk or the star pattern in our previous um, um previous subject but for this one we will be using on php and also we still uh, be using uh, we will still be using um for you okay one moment let me try to go ahead what happened to my mouse okay let me start by putting activity seven we are activity seven then enter a value then should be input type equals text 
name equals it should be num7 then input type here input type submit the value submit then it should be the name here it should be button 7 because this is activity number 7 and we are we are okay let me sorry this time I'll go ahead and create my if a set Post. Then I'll be checking the button seven. There. So if e set, uh, no, sorry, this is not e set. If not empty, then post. This is num seven. Then lastly, I'll put else here. I will be copying this one. Sorry, one moment. Okay. Okay, so what should we do? Let me check. Okay, asterisk. So I believe that I need to get a create another value here. So this is value seven that will get the inputted value of the user coming from the um, text box num seven. There. So here I need to create my for loop now. So should be I for example, then should be one. Of course, this is not zero. This is one. But it depends on the problem itself let me show you why I use one here so and also I still then less than or equal to um, the um, the value 7 of course the value 7 semicolon then I plus plus okay I will be using, by the way guys, um, since um, the purpose of this um, first loop, um, the purpose of this first loop, this is for the horizontal part, then the next loop, the purpose of the next, um, no sorry, um, for this loop, the purpose of this one, it depends on how many times that the user wanted this one to execute. So for example, based on this one, two, three, four, five. So the user should input five so that um, it will um, show five lines, okay? So five rows, for example, like that. And here inside, um, for example, I'll be using J equals one still, then um, J is less than or equal equal to um, i of course it depends on the i then j plus plus here this is the time where i will put the this one the asterisk so echo semicolon and here um for this echo this is actually the loop for that for this for loop, this is actually the echo. The one that I said that we need to put the BR because um, this is for how many times you want to see the lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Okay, so let me try saving it. Before saving it, I need to get this again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, what happened? Okay, save it. Okay, so let me go back. Okay, this is activity seven. I'll click submit. Okay, this is correct. So I want to input five. So there we go. Right? 
So if I ever that I will want to, uh, I want to input 10, then click submit. There we go, right? So for our activity number seven, this is very easy. All you need to do, guys, you need to change this one to uh, J. There. As easy as that. So for example, 10. This one, right? <laughs> so for example, here it's five. Course, I need to input 5 here, then click submit. There we go. Are we all good? <laughs> Thank you for listening.